Episode 2, Beauty Queen. David, are we ready to have a good time tonight? Let's go. One, two, three, four. Unlike anyone I'd ever seen before, there she was, standing on the creaky stage at the back of David's, just like I did. The Wednesday night crowd barely gave her half the attention she deserved, because, God, she deserved it all. She was wearing this worn-in black leather jacket, and these fishnet stockings, and these black platform boots. I can't help but wonder what I would look like wearing that. She's crying, but by night she's fighting crime With superhero powers that can bend and turn back time She's every woman that you'd ever want to be But all of it could fall away if anyone could see That underneath, it's all for show She's not the girl Like in the new Wednesday act, Dorian? Uh-huh. Wait, what? I said, you like her? What's her name? Vanity. That's her stage name. I've never seen anyone... Playing here who looks like that? A risk. Usually the boys here like to see boys, but I saw her perform at a place in college, and I couldn't pass her up. That, and I had a feeling you'd like her. Consider her my treat to me. If the shoe fits, you just gotta thank me for it when you have the chance. I needed to meet her. There was something about her that I just couldn't get out of my head. 
a beauty queen. It's open. Hey, Vanity, right? I just saw your set. It was incredible, really. Coming from the gray. God, what do I owe the pleasure? <laughs> Vanity's my stage name. You can call me Sybil. <laughs> Mine's Storian. Guess we're both faking it then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've been here before? A while ago, but I don't frequent that often. Seems like the crowd doesn't really get me when I'm not playing Vanity. So you're two different people? You and Vanity? Have you ever seen us in the same room together? <laughs> yes, we are. She's someone I used to be, or want to be. I really can't remember which. Either way, no. Hold on, how did you know who I was? Oh, well your face is just about Everywhere, man. <laughs> On every lamppost in the village, basically. And I swear, there's about 12 posters of you plastered outside my apartment on college. It's seared into my memory. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I've been meaning to tell them to- I didn't maybe. say I didn't like it. She starts to reapply her dark pink lipstick. You've got Saturdays, right? Yeah, I do. Prized slot. Who'd you have to blow to get that, Henry? Oh, no, I didn't I'm do... messing with you. I heard you play last week when I was scoping out the place again. You're not so bad yourself. Quite the package. That song you played tonight, uh... Do you write all your stuff? I do. And you style your own... I do. And you want to go out on Friday? I... <sighs> that was good. <laughs> so, tell me... Who is Vanity? That's a big question. One I've tried to answer many times, but each time I'm unsuccessful at attempting to. Vanity is the person who people want to watch. Vanity is the person who reclaims everything people have said about them. Vanity is who I thought I always would be. Vanity is not someone you trust. Vanity doesn't want to know about your problems. Vanity fucks you hard. Vanity doesn't care about others. Vanity's nothing like me. That's what I mean. And who's Sybil? Sybil has never known who she is. Sybil thought once that she knew, but... They really have no idea. She has no clue what she is in this space. Sybil's fucking confused. How does Sybil exist in this man-dominated space of homosexuals who don't give them a second look even though they thought this place was for them? I don't know. I don't know what she thought this was in the first place. Did Sybil think she would enter and be like everyone else, every other homosexual in this town looking for connection and sex and joy and home. Maybe she did, but for some reason she doesn't. So Sybil becomes vanity. It all comes full circle. I. This is gonna sound... stupid. You've already said stupid shit. There's <laughs> no point in turning back now. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm... living a lie. I feel like for some strange reason, things have... shifted. It's not supposed to be this way. I've always been like you. I've always been the one tossed to the side, never never looked at, never desired. And then all of a sudden, the first time I walked into David's, I don't know why people saw me and liked me and wanted me. It's just, I mean, that's never happened before. 
and it feels so fucking good to be desired. It's all I want to do, be here at the club and sit here and want men to see me and touch me and get them to kiss me and feel me because it feels so good. <laughs> it just... It feels really good. <laughs> but every night before leaving my apartment, I look at myself in the mirror and wonder... Maybe that was the last time? Maybe tonight... No one will notice me. Maybe I will be... completely invisible again. And I can't lose that feeling. It makes me feel the best I've ever felt in my life, Sybil. Like, it's so fucking good. <laughs> uh, so, what you feel? Is it like that? That's exactly it. I get it. But sometimes, there will be one person who sees you exactly for who you are. And it doesn't matter if you're in the pitch black of the back bar or standing under the bright lights in front of the stage. You're the only thing in the room to them. And that's fucking hot. Yeah, it's really fucking, yeah. Have you ever met anyone like that? She catches herself in the mirror. My lipstick smudged. Can't leave for the night looking like that now, can we? Before you reapply, maybe one kiss right here? You're brave, little boy. I like it. <sighs> Saturday, you're set. I'll be there. They left their dark pink lipstick on the dressing room table. I couldn't tell if it was left for me. I grabbed it and shoved the tube in my back pocket. Knock, knock, Sybil. What an incredible... Dorian. What have you done with Sybil? Made her disappear, huh? They left. I don't know where to, but they'll be back on Saturday. To watch your set? I don't know. They just said I'll be back then. No details. Huh. <sighs> Dorian. Don't think I don't know what's going on here. I wasn't born yesterday, but... God, I wish. What? You're taken by the crossing dressing boy girl with the guitar. You're taken. I don't know what you're talking about. Remember what I said, Dorian. Go play. Vanity's my treat to you. Henry. Just don't bite at the hand that feeds you. Henry taps the mark my lipstick left on his cheek from earlier. He subtly slides his finger down his lips, revealing his lower teeth. He winks at me. I wink back. It's Thursday night, floor night, which means there's a lot of people on the floor. <laughs> no band. And it's dark, really dark. I walk into the club, I can't see anything. All the people around me are silhouettes and shadows. I've already had a little uh, before I came in, which maybe is making things a little bit more darker. What can I get for you, Gray? Kieran is the best goddamn bartender at David's. Usually gives me a double when I ask for singles. I'm not really sure if I want it all the time, but Kieran does it anyway. Your usual? Oh, you know it. 
Have you seen Sybil here tonight? Who? I mean, Vanity, the performer here last night. Um, mm. uh, no, I haven't. But someone else was looking for you. Oh, for me? Uh, Dorian. It's Basil. He's wearing a black tank top under a big brown jacket. Kodak around his neck. Uh, Dorian, hey! I've been meaning to catch you at some point. Oh, what are you taking shots of tonight, Basil? Tequila. Make that two tequila shots, Kieran. <laughs> I meant with your camera. Oh, <laughs> nothing yet. I was waiting until I found... You still want the shot? I'd never say no to a shot. Where have you been the past couple of weeks? Oh, what do you mean? I've been here basically every night. Yeah, that's what I mean. So have I. <laughs> have you been ignoring me? Fuck. Sorry, I think I've had maybe too many tequila shots. No, no, don't worry. I'm not far behind you. Um, yes. I mean, no, no. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you. I, I would never ignore you. What? After all you've done for me? That's what I thought. <laughs> I just got nervous about... And I mean, I've been shooting myself in the foot all week for not telling you sooner than I... I've been I... really busy with all these gigs Henry's setting me up with. I get here around 10, perform for a couple of hours, and then leave. It's mostly a place of work. Really? You don't come out on the floor ever to dance after the shows? Maybe once or twice. Not usually. I can't really... God, I need another tequila shot. On me. Kieran, can I get another round? Get in line. He's with me. Up next, boss. Basil pulls a stack of Polaroids out of a little case in his pocket. Oh, God. It's funny you say that, though, because I swear I've taken several pictures of people on the dance floor, and when I look close, you're in them, <laughs> dancing with different guys. See? That doesn't look like me. I don't I don't think that's me. I mean, that's you and Chris and Isaac and Matthew and <laughs> Shit. I am so sorry. That's completely my fault. I'll buy you another shot. Kieran. I need to say it. I like you, Dorian. A lot. I think you're really special and at this club Basil is talking, but all I can hear are Henry's words ringing in my head. I can't. No future, no I can't. The moment that life starts to fade and the lines of time start showing, you're done for. I can't! Around here, people aren't like you. People are scared to be themselves. People apologize. And you're nothing like that. You are so sure of yourself and confident and sexy, but not in a way... I'm not trying to be overbearing Yeah, or... I love your pictures, too. You should show me more of them sometime. I have to go. Gig tomorrow. Super tired. I'll see you later. I swerve around the corner and duck behind the bar until Basil can't see me. I catch a glimpse of myself in the reflection of the black linoleum bar. I swallow. You can't hide down there all day. Eventually he'll find you. How'd you know that? Same way I know you've been on the floor every night for the past month. I've seen it. And no one needs to know about that, right? Depends. I check around to see if anyone's looking. I grab Kieran's face and start kissing him down the neck. Yeah. No one needs to know. When I head back to the floor, there are so many eyes on me. But there are so many eyes not on me. They're looking at me, but not the same way they used to. Maybe with just less intensity, less sex, sex. in their stares. I don't know which. I'm handed a shot. I take, I take it. it. I don't know what the shot is or what's in it. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> There are these men all around me, and they're bigger. And they're older, and they either pretend I'm not there, or they look like they want to eat me. 
They want to eat me. <laughs> I raise my head and lift up my hands. I feel hands start to touch me. The swell of my back going down. Flesh on my neck, wet on my neck. The back of a hand is pushed to my face. It has powder on it. I take it. I feel a body grab my waist and pull it in towards them, towards theirs. They kiss me hard and bite my lip. Their tongue rushes into my mouth. I lean my head back. It feels good. I feel, I, I mean, it has to be someone else behind me, grinding on my back. My head hits their shoulder. They grab my head and cover my ears, wet on my neck again. It feels good. I think. I think. Yeah. yeah. They're pushing harder, which feels good. I think. And my eyes open wider, but I can only see the dark ceiling and sudden pink blue flashes of light, and I'm starting to think of home. And, and they're grinding harder and harder, and someone puts their finger in my mouth and tells me to. And I'm doing it because it feels good, right? And when I tilt my head back up, it's three guys. None of the ones that were on me before, but people are seeing me and thinking I'm sexy and wanting me and desiring me, and that feels good, I think. And another hand comes up to my face with powder on it. And another palm slides down my face, nails scratching my cheeks, and it feels good, I think. It feels so good, I think. It feels really good. I think, I think, I think it feels so good, so good, yes, so fucking good, think, I think, I think, I think, 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 Dorian, think, Dorian, think, Dorian, Dorian, I think. Morning, Cupcake. Oh, Henry? What time is it? Seven. In the morning? Right on the nose, big guy. Oh, God. Did I fall asleep here? At the bar? Yes. Actually under it. But I moved you to your dressing room for some privacy. I wasn't wearing my underwear. Went pretty hard last night, huh? There's a jock strap in my pocket. He must have had, what? Eight or nine shots and at least a few humble bumps. And it's not mine. Don't worry, though. Won't cost you anything, lucky bastard. It's on the house. The house meaning me. You're the one who gave all that to me. I told you I'd treat my boys. <laughs> well, thanks, Henry. Pleasure's all yours. Wait, what are you still doing here? Didn't trust me alone in the club? I trust you, in capacities. No, it's not that. You wanted to take care of me? If there's one thing I'm not, it's a babysitter. No. Recently, I've been finding it hard to sleep. I'll try to walk home when the club closes at around three, but every time I step out the door, I get this weird feeling. Like something bad is going to happen, not even just to me. And when I get back to my place and try to shut my eyes, I just spent the entire night staring at my ceiling, thinking and spinning into spirals about all my friends that have gone missing, remembering the year I came here alone, thinking of all the blood I found in alleyways. I don't know what I'm doing here, Dorian. I don't know why the fuck I'm still here. In the club? In the club, yes. <sighs> I should go home. You're being a good boy. You know that, Dorian. Doing everything I wished I could have done. I know I talk a lot of crap and love to be witty-witty, but I do mean it. I'll take care of you. I will do anything to keep you with me. Safe. Don't forget that. I won't. And if you keep all this up, 
That big New Year's Eve slot next month might start to look real promising. New Year's Eve? Oh, that's the night. The biggest party across the village. I promise you, this place will be packed with people ready to shoot your little guitar picking and strumming right to the stars. Might have your name on it. But you already know the deal. Night, Dorian. Morning, Henry. I hear the phone ring. Again. I don't want to pick up. But I can't just let it... Let her... Hello? What do you want? Is that you, Dee? That's... What do you want? Please just let me know you're safe, Dee. If that's you... I just need to know that you're safe. I can't. I can't. My eyes were on that New Year's slot. I wasn't going to let anything distract me. I didn't care what I had to do to play along in Henry's little games. I'd do it. Would you ever want to write together? Sybil! You scared me. <laughs> what are you doing here? How'd you... I left my lipstick here, and the door was unlocked. Haven't happened to see it, have you? Dark pink? I would have grabbed it at your set tomorrow, but I just didn't know how much longer I could wait to ask for my lipstick. I think I might have an idea. There you go. Now, what were you doing with that? Maybe waiting for that kiss you promised me? Oh, I didn't promise. Vanity promises nothing but dirty shit. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. Ah, 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 not so fast. You want to write a song together? Oh, that. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> Not like you're the one who barged in here saying that. I didn't barge. I gracefully make an entrance. There's a difference. <laughs> but if you're asking, yes. I've just been thinking about your music a lot lately for some reason. Oh, you've been thinking about me. I said your music. You too. But that's because I have to put a face to the voice and the words. They look at my lips. I just think that our words, our voices, would work well together. What you were talking about the other night, wanting to be seen, needing to be seen for what you are, it stuck with me. You've stuck with me. And I was thinking about that feeling you get with someone when they understand you. When it seems like the whole world has no idea who the fuck you are and why you are the way you are. And then someone does. It's out of this world, really. Cosmic. No one has ever seen that. No one has ever seen me like that. And what do you see in me? Someone who plays a part. A part? A role. A theatrical role. You're not the Grey. The Grey's made up. Vanity's made up. Faking it! <laughs> <laughs> you think it's easier, don't you? To be someone else? To live someone else's life. The fantasy, if you will. The fantasy. Anytime the inside doesn't match the outside for me, I put on a costume, a wig, a heeled boot, a fucking new shade of lipstick. It doesn't matter what it is. What matters is, it's not me. But doesn't that make you less you? You tell me. Who's more you? You or the gray? I... I don't know. Well, we better find that out. I walk closer to them. Our eyes meet and tell secrets about our bodies to each other. I lean to touch lips, but Sybil stops me. Wait. They pull out the dark pink lipstick. Put it on. I open up the tube and slide it across my bottom lip, then my top. 
good. <laughs> Sybil kisses me. We kiss for a while. So, what are we writing? Uh, uh, may I? Please, do. As we drift down the cosmos Catching galaxies in our palms Kissing you is singing sacred songs When I'm with you, I see holy stars Whoa. See if you can keep up. As we stride down the Milky Way In your arm space feels so cozy When I touch you, I turns rosy When I'm with you, I see holy stars I've never floated up so A rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I try. No, no, you are really something special. I've never met anyone like you before. <laughs> I don't think I ever will again. Thanks. <laughs> Likewise, Gray. There's this slot, a um, a New Year slot at David's. This place gets packed. It's like a one-way ticket to Mars, <laughs> and maybe. I mean, maybe something could really happen for us. Henry says if I keep up my good streak, it's mine. Would you, if I get it, would you want to do it with me? Oh, Dorian, yes. Yes. Yes, holy shit! Of course I would, that would be so incredible. You got it, babe. Better be good for Henry then, huh? <laughs> Trust me, you're good. <laughs> That picture that Basil took of me, the posters of me around the club, the village, every street corner and lamppost, were starting to get more and more hateful with every look. I thought it was a trick of the eye. I thought... I don't know what I thought. But it couldn't have been. I was looking less and less recognizable with each minute that went by, and there were people everywhere looking at these posters that were everywhere. A million of my faces staring into my soul and reminding me how time was running out, how I wouldn't look like this for much longer, how I needed to work fast. Fuck Basil, okay? Fuck Basil for making this devil monster image of me which will make people think that that's how I look. I don't look like that. I, I can't have people thinking I look like that. I know what I have to do. Dorian? What are you doing? Henry, just the man I wanted to see. You wanted to see me? I'm rubbing off on you, aren't I? No, nothing is rubbing on anything. 
Look, I have this idea. Um, so, New Year's. Ah, uh, 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 Dorian. I never promised you New Year's. It seemed like you did. No, no. I said you needed to be patient. You definitely never said that. Well, I said you needed to continue on the right path and you might get that slot. Did I not? Hopeful thinking, then. But if I... Let's say I wanted to promise you that I would do that. What would I do? I would see you on that dance floor. Every night. No exceptions. I already come every... You heard me, Gray. Every night. Yeah, but why? Yeah, you don't need to. I'm not forcing you. Every night. I'll be there. Then, it's yours. <laughs> well then, preparations are in order. As your starring act, I need brand new posters. New posters? Dorian, we just got these done last month. They're everywhere. Which means you better get on it quickly. Have Basil take new shots of me, use goddamn Polaroids. I don't care, just get all them down as soon as you can. Dorian, this is ridiculous. Why would I... You don't need to. I'm not forcing you. I'll get right on promo preparations then. And I better see you out here. Tonight. Okay, so it's not great, but I think the band will be able to follow along with the up-tempo rock version of Holy Stars. I also think it's in your key, but I'm pretty shit at the music, that's why I mostly write the lyrics for- Hey, hey, this is amazing, thank you. Anytime. Hold on, my key? Yeah. Sybil, that's your song. You wrote basically all of those words. The crowd deserves to hear it from you. But it's Saturday. It's your night, your midnight set. I'll have another chance to perform. We'll have another chance. Dorian. <laughs> no, you didn't. You know I did. <laughs> New Year's, baby. Holy shit! Uh, I can't believe how. Well, Henry said that I could have the slot. And if it's my slot, you're in it too. That means the world, really. Remember what I told you? You're a superstar. Now go show them. Dorian, I know this is wild. This is so... I don't do this. I'm not the type of person, but when you find someone who you feel sees you for you, there's no getting them out of your head. And there's no way I can lose this. There's no way I can lose you. <laughs> so then do it, asshole. <laughs> Sybil? Will you be my one? Will you be mine? Always. Then yes. Sybil kisses me. I kiss back. I see that I left a smudge of my red lipstick on the side of their mouth. I try to wipe it off, but it doesn't go away. The song is dedicated to you tonight. I'll be listening. You got this! <laughs> Hello, David! Bet you weren't expecting to see me now, were you? Well, the gray will be out in a bit, but I'll be opening with an original. You better grab someone you love by the neck tonight, or anyone. There's really no difference here and sing this right to them. Boys? One, two, three, four. Yes, Henry, I'll be out in a minute. I'm just letting Vanity open for me tonight, so... Dorian. Basil! Oh, you scared the shit out of me! <laughs> oh, how are you, bud? Yeah, I'm... 
Fine. Me too. Been really good. Just got the New Year's Eve show next month from Henry. Super excited for that. Uh, well, nice seeing you. Really should go out and see... Oh. Okay. Looks like I will not be headed out at this moment. I came here because I need to talk to you, Dorian. About what? Did I... Did I do something? What do you mean? Did I do something to make you not ignore me? I know, I know you're busy. But now Henry's telling me you want new pictures because the other ones aren't good enough. That little bitch. And you didn't come to me about it? Or let me know you didn't like them? It's strange, Dorian. I thought you said you loved that picture more than anything. I don't understand why now all of a sudden you completely- Basil, it's nothing personal, really. With the New Year's Eve show coming up, I just figured a rebrand would be good to uh, arouse more interest in the crowd. I I didn't mean for it to offend you or go over your head. I I just needed those pictures down as soon as possible. But why didn't you tell me? It was honestly a mistake, Basil. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry, but I have to- Dorian, I don't- I, I don't know how to say this. So don't. Let's save this conversation until you're nice and ready. That time won't come, Dorian. Because I'll never be ready. I at least need to figure out how to start. I don't... I never thought I was one of you. I always thought I would look, but not touch. I would hide behind the lens so that I wouldn't have to be in the picture. But I can't hide from it much longer, and you... You make me want to... You inspire me to be me, to be the person I've always wanted to be but never could get myself to. God, here I go again. I see you dancing every night. You told me you didn't, but every night this week I watch you come out from your gig and walk straight onto the dance floor. Watch you dance with guys and and then that night when I showed you the pictures, you completely ran away trying to avoid me and I'm just caught in the middle of these weird feelings. And then the picture you said you loved of yourself, you said you'd do anything to keep it, and now you want it completely gone? It just feels like you hurt me. And you're acting so strange, but I want you to- I want you, Basil. What? As we drift through the cosmos. I want you, Basil. I know I've been distant, but it's only because I didn't want myself to fall for you, uh, fall for you so quickly. I've had eyes for you since I met you in the club, since you took that first picture of me. Catching galaxies in our palms. And I've been hiding it because I've been so busy and I've been letting my feelings take a back seat. But I... I'm the one who can't hold back anymore. Dorian, I... Next thing I know, I'm kissing him. Harder and harder, deeper and deeper. Kissing you is singing sacred songs. Dorian. As I push him down on the dressing room couch, I see the poster of myself hanging beside my mirror. Now this is the worst the picture has ever looked. That's not me. That will not be me. What have I done? The Grey, a wild audio drama, starring Oliver James Parkins as Dorian Gray, Liam Peter Donovan as Henry LeBlanc, Nell Sienkiewicz as Sybil Vanity, Kenneth Johnson as Basil, featuring Gabby Ibrahim as Kieran, 
Victoria Watson Sepajak as the caller. Written, composed, and directed by Anthony Palermo. Production management, sound design, and editing by Allison Starkey. Assistant production managed by Caitlin Grant. With musical arrangements by Benjamin Kersey and music mixing by Marco Wong. Dramaturged by Bryn Bonney. Inspired by Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray. Produced by Victoria College Drama Society. <laughs>